Hi guys, another jigsaw puzzle. This one cost me £1.49 in a charity shop. 250 pieces. The Usborne Map of the World jigsaw. Haven't checked whether it's got all the pieces or not. I had rather hoped to do this with my grandsons. So I thought it might be an educational one. Uh, I've also measured it. It says 31.9 inches by 21.3 inches or 810 millimeters by 540 millimeters. That should take up the entire area that we're looking at with the camera. And I don't like the lighting at the moment, but I'm gonna have to live with that, I'm afraid. So, I'm hoping that I might recognise some of the locations and it might be reasonably easy to put together. But I doubt it. So, it is 20 past 8 on the 28th of December, Saturday the 28th of December. The trouble with it taking up so much space is I haven't got space to put all the pieces around the edges so we can keep an eye on them. I'm going to have to put them out of, out of shot. Which is alright for me, but it means you can't see them. Not that anybody's going to be shouting, look at that piece over there on the top right, that one fits. Because I wouldn't hear you, would I? I suppose we could always try doing one of these live stream. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Watching Grandad do a jigsaw live stream. wondering if there's any way of doing this without putting all the pieces off the screen. Like maybe find, start on the bottom edge or something, but because you never know where all the pieces are, do you? That's going to be a top edge because that says Greenland. or something that I can put some of the pieces out so I can keep track of them. A little jump in continuity there. I've separated out all the edge pieces and put the rest of them over on a tray that you can't see. It's over there. Well, there's still some more bits up here as well. Okay, so what can we do with the edge?
well, had a bit of a problem down the bottom here. Other than that, oh yeah, I was trying to push Australia too far south as well. Other than that, all the pieces are there. It's interesting to get a perspective on the size of things, although I've no doubt people will tell you a flat map like that can never give you an accurate um, display of a circle, sphere, the earth. So some of these are stretched to make them fit. But you still get the general idea. UK is the middle of the world. <laughs> Australia's all the way over there and America's all the way over there. And Greenland is bigger than the United States. But there's less people in Greenland than there is in the UK. Japan is tiny. And Moscow is right the way over here, whereas Russia is all the way over here. Or the Russian Federation. Hmm. Yes, as I say, you can't actually judge the sizes by looking at a flat map. That's probably a bit too much to try and explain to my grandchildren. Good enough just to know where places are in relation to each other. <laughs> you can't see the detail on the camera. But I do find it interesting the things that the map make makers or the, the jigsaw makers have decided are important or relevant. Diamonds, gold. Like I said earlier, well, it depends whether I edited it out. Over in America, Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland, the White House, Statue of Liberty, Mississippi Paddle Steamer, Cowboy. Canada, Beavers, Mineral Mining, Muskox. Mining down in South Africa, planting rice in India, water buffalo ploughing. Yeah, that's um, Burma, isn't it? Oh, that's Burma. Vietnam over there, orangutan in Borneo. Australia, kangaroos, aborigines, sheep, emus, flying doctors, road train, opera house, boomerang. New Zealand, kiwi and geezer or geyser depending on how you want to pronounce it. Oh Japan, sumo wrestlers. Mount Fuji.
That'll do. Well, there you go. You made it all the way to the end of another one of my videos. If you want more information, there'll be stuff down there in the video description. If you actually liked that video, you might find this one up here interesting too. And if you like both of them, you might want to subscribe over here. Thanks very much for watching. It's much appreciated.